Hey everybody, we have uh, been making the rounds. Uh, we got an opportunity to sit down with Wesley Sanger with the Emmett H. And uh, so we're gonna sit here and uh, hear his story. So Wesley, uh, go ahead and tell us. Uh, you grew up in Matthews, didn't you? I did. Yeah, grew mm -hmm. up in Winter Harbor. And uh, let me see how the story starts. So I, I ended up in Saluda Jail for some reason. I don't remember what it was. Probably a victim, victim of circumstance, but uh, I was in there for 10 days, and there was this other guy that was in there for a year that had this old boat, he said, and he, he had to sell it because he was in jail. So, got her to jail, I went and looked at it, it was an open boat, bad shape, and needed some work, but I got a sawmill, had plenty of lumber, so I, I bought it. Yeah. Anyway, got back home, took it from, uh, it was at Virgil Miller's. Over on Broad Creek, we brought it back to Matthews where I live, one of the hobble. A day or two went by, my brother in law come down there, Edward Diggs' son. And he said, Well, I said, I don't know if you know it or not, but that boat was built right there in your yard where the house and the sawmill was. Wow. I said, Really? He said, Yeah. He said, I, I can prove it to you. I got pictures of it. So he went home, come back that evening, had pictures of the boat when they built it. His grandfather and a guy named Ned Hudgens. And they build them upside down. Right. And they flip them over on an oak tree about big as a five gallon bucket. They had a picture of it. Uh huh. So I took the boat around Wayne's not long after that and picked it up, put it on the trailer, brought it home, and turned it back over on the same tree. But the oak tree was about this big then. Right. Anyway, I went to work on it and replaced the bottom, working on the sides or whatever. And the, the farm hose there, that burned down, mm. caught fire. So I said, well, before that, I won't make it much progress on the boat or the hose either one trying to work on both of them. So when the hose burned down, I said, well, I go on fix the boat. I have yeah, somewhere to live in. Yeah, I hear that. So uh, I went to work on it and got the bottom the side done, flipped it over. And that's when I decided to deck it over like this. Yeah. And I like buy boats. Mm -hmm. You get a bunch of good looking women, you're in the back then. they up front, <laughs> you ain't got to turn your head, so. That's right. Anyway, I, I went to work on it. And, you know, fix it up like I want it. I tell you what, I like her. I like the way you laid it out. It's it, nice. It, it turned out, it turned out pretty good. And it, probably it, the best part about the story, Alan, is uh, they let me in the club with the rest of the deck boats. You know? All right. Even though it was a small one, I still had one. So went all up and down the bay with them every year. This time of year, met a bunch of people and, and sold lumber to damn near every one of them because it. Hard to come by anymore. You right. Know. You don't look good yourself. You but. sold me lumber <laughs> too. You better believe it. Anyway, I look. held up right good. I had a 653 in here uh -huh. to start with. But you couldn't hear a thunderstorm coming with that. It <laughs> loud. Good day was loud. So anyway, later on, I, I bought a, a brand new 225 John Deere and put it in here. Yeah. Got another clutch. And had real good luck with that. Right. Maybe three or four years ago, it was always a bad piece of wood here, a worm come out there, especially on the top side where the fresh water hit it all the time. Right. I didn't use it much either, and that didn't help matters. Right. So three or four years ago, I, I tore all the deck, took the hose off, trunk cabin, everything, and I, I redid it all with cooser board and fiberglass in, my yeah. system, hot dollar paint. And, Took about ten times longer than I thought. It cost about ten times as yeah. much. But I, I finally got it straight last summer. Anyway, here we are. Well, she looks nice. I yeah. appreciate it. I'm real user friendly. And uh, the thing is, every I'll call and see. You know, have y'all left yet? When you expect to be at your next destination and all? Right. And I always get the report. They say, "Well, I'm here." Carrie, he's done. He's about an hour ahead of us. Uh, F.D. Craig a couple miles behind us, and I don't think Wesley's left yet. But don't worry, he'll come flying by us here shortly. Most of the time I do, yeah. <laughs> well, I can tell you, she moves now. I've seen you go on and get on her. Cruise along about 15, 15 knots, 2100. All right. So she, she'll, she'll probably do close to 20 if I hold it on her and the tide's right, wind right and everything. But, right. But about 2100, that's good running speed, making 15 knots on top. I can live with that. Absolutely. Yeah. So, but I tell you what, we're glad to have a local sawmill too. Yeah, that's important. That means a lot. I sold a lot of lumber here and there and everywhere over the last 20 years. 
A lot, of it, a lot of it going to boats. What impressed me was that day you went in your private stock to pull out some boards for me for some bottom boards for my boat. I you know? that, that meant a lot to yeah. me. You know. well, I got a free hatter to deal with <laughs> me, so anyway. <laughs> and then that red cedar, I took a piece of that and made a nice shelf. Well, Dave Rollins actually made the shelf that mm. went in my den. You know, my den's like a museum. You know, right. I, I got all kinds of family boat tools and everything. And that red cedar shelf just sets that room off. Yeah, it is right pretty stuff. It's, it's good to work with. It holds up good. Too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I got a lot of it in the, in the wheelhouse there. And he, I guess you've seen the helm and Day Rollins boat. Yeah. You know, that, that turned out right pretty too. It sure did. You yeah. better believe it. Yeah. But look, you've worked on the water. Oh, I yeah. know you were fishing a lot. And I mean, you want to talk about any of that? much talk about yet this year but <laughs> well, no i'm saying overall but i i, I, I bought me a whole scene i bought me a whole scene this year if everything goes well i'm gonna load this sucker down with proper here for long and yeah I'll put it back to work absolutely so i ain't made much money with it riding around <laughs> <laughs> then more play time huh yeah but uh, look you gotta enjoy life Sure, sure. I, I look forward to this time of year. I mean, like I said, the people I've met is probably the best part of it. Yeah. But when we go up to Bay and all up there, I ain't never been up there in Maryland, you know. Up right. Up and stuff, St. Mm -hmm. Michael's. And I enjoy going up there. Well, by boat, the farthest I've been by boat is Tangier Island. So right. I, I ain't been up in Maryland, but I've driven there by land. Right. But That's the farthest I've, I've, I've been uh, by boat until... I met with these guys, you know. Right. And then it's a bunch of deck boats or buy boats up there, and we always go up there. Some years we go up there, some years they come down here. Right. But I, I enjoy going to different places and seeing different things that I ain't seen. Yeah, I've been all around Hampton, you know, in, yeah. in this area pretty much, which I enjoy this too. Right. But anyway, we've been to Baltimore and Washington and all over everywhere. Sassafras, Rubble, and they went to Cambridge a few years ago. I, but I was working on the boat then, I didn't make it. Right. But yeah, we been to Rock Hall and mm -hmm. a bunch of different places. Now, I know a lot of Maryland boats couldn't make it this time, but, uh, you know, we miss them. But, you know, hey, we got to do what we got to do. We're still having a good time here in Virginia. You they know? missed it this year, and I missed it a couple <laughs> years ago, so that's the way it is. Right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. One thing about a dead rise, when you start on it, you don't know where you're going to stop. That's the truth. <laughs> Yeah. So, but I mean, if you see something needs to be done, you best go ahead and do it. It ain't gonna get no better exactly. if you wait on it. Exactly. That's right. I got this one in pretty good shape, but it's still, still all kinds of stuff that I want to do. It mm -hmm. before, I've had the boat in Winter Harbor the whole time I've had it, mm -hmm. and now that's filled in. I, I, I can't get in there no more, so right. I gotta keep the boat in Winter mm -hmm. Harbor. So when I get ready to go work on it, I gotta load the truck and put everything in there and then go around there and then walk about a hundred feet of dock to realize that I ain't got the one tool that I need to get started. Oh so boy. Back off the dock, back in the truck. Well, anyway. I, I tell people all the time, if you own a dead rise, painting's a way of life. It is. <laughs> yeah. But it's something I enjoy doing. So. Right, right. I enjoyed it more when I was younger than I do now. Right. But the shape I got her in now, the boot only I got to paint. Is the bottom. Yeah, yeah, right. That's it. This is a acrylic paint on top here from Eastern Burlap. Okay. Sprayed on here. And right. I ain't, I ain't, it'd be a while before I mess with this. Yeah, it's exactly. Been, it's been well over a year now, you know. Mm -hmm. it looks good as it did when I painted it. Yeah, it sure does. That's anyway, it. No, we have a lot of fun with them. Well... I know we've been having a lot of fun this time, this weekend. Yeah, we have that. Yeah, I didn't get to do the whole trip with y'all, but I was glad to be here this weekend. And I told somebody earlier, we uh, we, we in Pocosin, and Matthews is over there, but we took a long way to get here. We, we left, left Matthews, went to Tangier, then went to Nancock, then went to Smithfield. Now we're back at Pocosin, and hell, Matthews is right over there, so. Yeah. A lo long way around. But look, you probably got one more stop before you get home, ain't you? Cape Cod. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be happening tomorrow, ain't that, it? That ain't too bad a detour. <laughs> <laughs> you going to get in the shucking contest? No, they're doing that today. Oh, I that's think. today? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to miss that then. Yeah, I'll miss that. The docking tomorrow. The docking tomorrow. Yeah. You gonna dock her, ain't you? No, uh uh. Huh? No, Come I on now. I can't dock this one. You wheeled her in here pretty good uh, yesterday. Well, I was fortunate. The wind and tide was right. 
<laughs> you go along, you go along good, the steer's good, but when you get to the docks, it's so deep, it's hard to, it don't maneuver real good. Right. Got a big wheel, too. That wants to pull it whichever way it wants to go. Right. I understand. Anyway. Well, I'm look, bad. we've had a great time talking to you. Appreciate you know, it. Everybody's trying to tell you hello on here. <laughs> so, uh, but half of Matthews is on here now watching. So, and I bet, I bet uh, half of them are laughing, but anyway. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with laughing. Better than crying. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. That's it. All right. Well, I really appreciate you talking with us, and uh, enjoy the rest of your trip, and uh, I'll be seeing you around. All right, Alan, thank you. Thank you. All right, buddy.